Electric vehicles, all the rage, very popular here in the Valley. California has a law requiring electric only car sales by 2035. So we're about 10 years away. Those EVs are well known for saving money on gas, but ADU's now investigator Kyle Payne here with more on some hidden costs. Kyle. Kirsten, David, we spoke with more than a few Tesla owners, and by and large, they love their cars. So much so, a lot of them might not realize how much it's actually costing them. I'm a fan, a huge fan. Craig Moe is a huge fan of his Tesla. All four of them, actually. The owner of a collision repair shop in California, Moe stopped at the premium outlets downtown for lunch and to fill up his electric sedan with enough juice to get him through another 400 miles or so. And he can't say enough good things about it. There's no maintenance. There's no oil changes, no fan belts, no filters, no uh, smog, no exhaust. I mean, you just drive them. It's like a glorified golf cart. But even though Mo loves his glorified golf carts and says he has no problem insuring his Teslas through State Farm, his experience might not be the norm. The A News Now investigators asked Carl Cook of Cook Insurance Group in Las Vegas to run some numbers. And as Cook predicted when we sat down together in his office, the Tesla insurance is far more expensive than other top automakers. Can you tell me something that the insurance people have said to you that does not bode well for the Tesla owner? Yeah, it's going to be expensive to insure. At our request, Cook quoted insurance rates for a number of popular vehicles on the road today. And at $7,417 for the year, the 2023 Tesla Model X is $1,100 more expensive than number two on his list, the 2023 Ford Escape. But two other popular sedans at the bottom of the list are thousands less, both pricing out at just over $4,400. Some insurers won't even look at electric vehicles without requiring pre-approval or a two weeks waiting period beforehand. Cook says it's for good reason, and a lot of folks in the market for an electric vehicle like a Tesla might not have done the math on these hidden costs. The hidden costs with owning any EV would be that of insurance, repairs, and God forbid there's any damage. And in this town, you're going to have some damage. Cook says that damage on an electric vehicle can be considerably more substantial because of all the computers and sensors, bells and whistles, in, on, and around the entire car that don't exist on your father's Oldsmobile. And while some garages will fix your EV, a lot won't or can't. And Tesla itself only has one official shop here in Las Vegas. Cook says some of the big insurance companies won't even write policies for cars like Tesla. Basically, a luxury car that is very easy to total because of the cost to fix one. It's not just like if a, if a frame is bent that, okay, we can't replace it, the car's got to be totaled. In this particular case, there's a lot of liability on the insurance companies. Still, data from this digital insurance agency, Insurify, says half of all car buyers are considering an electric vehicle, which is up from 38% in 2023. With 33 new EVs launched last year and 50 new or updated EVs slated to enter the U.S. marketplace this year. But even Insurify, who makes a commission on insurance policies bought through its website, acknowledges some hurdles in buying an electric vehicle. Saying dealers aren't prepared to stock their showrooms with them, it costs a lot just to replace a battery, that the cars themselves cost a pretty penny. And even though most of the folks we spoke with around town and at the charging stations love their Teslas, and the Uber drivers say they save hundreds of dollars a week on gas, the insurance agent, Carl Cook, is having none of it. I'm not sure I'd let my son drive a Tesla. I mean, he's a great driver. I, I love him to death. But even a rinky-dink accident in a high school parking lot, you're talking a lot of money to get that replaced. And that would not be the case if he was driving um, um, an older car? No, no. If you're driving that old truck... You're driving that old truck. The danger is probably on the other person's. That other person, like Tesla owner Craig Moe, who loves everything about his electric vehicles. What's your favorite part of actually driving it? The performance is insane. Really? Yeah. The new one, the new Tesla Plaid that I have is 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. You ever make that happen? Yeah. <laughs> Recent data on the tires on Teslas show they wear out faster than the average vehicle, about 20% faster. Part of the reason is they go so fast, so quickly the torque takes its toll. And Teslas are actually heavier than other cars, David. Interesting stuff, Kyle. Well, we also did some checking on that $7,500 tax break when you buy an electric vehicle. Turns out the Biden administration passed some legislation actually making it harder to get that credit. And since then, only a handful of drivers actually qualify.